As we continue to busy ourselves with the work of reformation here in Moscow, both our local and national opponents like to say things like, Kirkers are trying to turn Moscow into a Christian town, to which all the childless cat ladies and keyboard warriors gasp and exclaim, oh no, not that, how dare they? This same thing is happening nationally as abortion access teeters on the lip of the drain to hell. Pundits and protesters say things like, pro-lifers are trying to make America into a Christian theocracy. Well, let's scandalize them a bit more, shall we? We have the audacity to teach that the church should be a Christian church. We're training men for ministry to be Christian ministers. We labor to equip parents to raise their children as, get this, Christian children. On top of that, we're discipling Christians to be, in fact, Christians. Don't overlook one of the foundational precepts of our faith. You are baptized in the name of the triune God, Father, Son, and Spirit. His name is on your brow as the golden miter which bore Jehovah's name once rested on the high priest's brow. Don't adopt a sheepish disposition for being busy doing the work your Father has given you to do. The Father bestows Christ's name upon you and by his Spirit enables you to walk as Jesus did. This means you must walk in the light and put off the deeds of darkness. In other words, the primary challenge for Christians is to live like they are, in fact, Christians. You cannot do so on the strength, authority, or renown of your own name. Overcoming sin and walking in holiness, whether individually or nationally, can only be done in the name of Jesus. All this can be summed up by saying, we believe that Christians ought to be born again. 